Councilwoman Gim offers one resolution authorizing the City Council Committees on Children and Youth and on Finance to hold hearings regarding the Philadelphia Parking Authority's unorthodox and contested request for the school district to repay the Parking Authority nearly $11 million. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Gim. Thank you so much, Council President. Today I'm calling for a full City Council investigation into the Parking Authority's latest financial shenanigans, and one that I believe is actually the most serious yet. Thanks to the Council President's intergovernmental agreement between the School District of Philadelphia and City Council, for the last several years, we've been meeting quarterly to discuss the district's finances. Last fall, the district indicated a troubling claim by the PPA that it was actually demanding $10.9 million in repayment, an amount for which they have to this day, months later, still failed to provide any documentation for. Of greater concern is that in a series of emails between the Parking Authority and the School District, it has since been revealed that the PPA has been diverting millions of dollars in on-street parking revenue. This is the money that goes to the city and to school kids into a $34 million pension fund. This had never been disclosed before publicly to the district or to the city. It was never made clear in financial audits that were delivered to our body. It was not discovered in audits by the Auditor General or the Controller. Last year, the Parking Authority delivered exactly $0 to the School District of Philadelphia with $180 million in revenue. Many of us recall back in 2014 when this body uh, increased parking meter fees with a promise from the PPA that funds to schools would increase to at least $18 million a year. But in the immediate years following that parking meter increase, funding to our public schools actually dropped. The PPA has no oversight, no financial oversight, other than what it itself conducts um, with its own uh, internal controls. It is long past time for us to seek a longer term formal financial oversight over this body. It is a critical public trust. It has the responsibility of not only um, doing the good work of uh, managing our streets and parking, but it also has the important responsibility of funding our city and funding our school kids. Every dollar that goes out of our school kids is a dollar that often is made up by this body. We have increased funding to our schools um, consistently and over time through grants to make up for unexpected drops. And these kinds of unexpected surprises can no longer continue, especially from an entity that was built to serve us when it was first founded or taken over by the state in 2004. It promised $45 million a year to school kids in revenue. It has never delivered even a fraction of that amount of money. So I look forward to the conversation between um, our committees on finance and children and youth. I want to thank um, the council president's office, especially for um, the work uh, through the intergovernmental agreement. Um, we expect to have strong partnerships with our city revenue departments, um, finance departments, and the school district of Philadelphia. Thank you very much.